Hi, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Brian. I hold a Bachelor's of Engineering degree. Uh, some good friends of mine call me Mr. B, and I hope you will too. So uh, my tutorial here uh, is on rounding, rounding numbers. You may know how to go about rounding numbers, but I'm going to expand upon what you already have learned at some point in your life. Uh, this is actually something that I learned in an engineering class. It, it can be used beyond engineering. It can be used in finance and some other parts of the world. When you're dealing with a lot of numbers and you need to round them off, you need to find an even distribution so that things become accurate and precise. Uh, we're going to be using the value of money with rounding off to the penny. So I'm calling this Making Sense with Rounding. I hope this makes sense for you, and I hope you learned something. So let's get right to it. Traditional old school rounding, you recall. One to four, you round down. Five to nine, you round up. When there's a zero, you're not rounding it, so it's not really being changed. Uh, if you look at these values, here's the zero. We're not changing it at all. It just stays the same. Here we have a value of one. So we just change it to a zero, technically, and the previous value doesn't change, or it's called rounding down. Same with the two, three, and four. Round down on these values. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, you are technically rounding up to a two and it becomes a zero. Um, that's actually traditionally what's happening, but most of the time you're just talking about what's happening there in that penny spot because we can't really cut pennies in half or in pieces. Uh, we're looking for the whole penny in this here example. So we remove the zeros and you can see now what looks like traditional dollars and cents, right? The original values had that trailing number uh, so if you actually add them all up, the real total is $10.14.5. But like I said, you're not going to be cutting pennies in half. So our estimated values actually total to $10.15, as you can see here. And even if you took the total of the original and rounded it, you'd round it up to that next value of $0.15 cents here. Um, but there's technically half a cent off difference, which could be potentially an error or it's uneven distribution and a problem. Um, where does that uneven distribution come from? Right here. Four-ninths of the values get rounded down, while five-ninths round up. This is not a 50-50 split, and this could become problematic with a large data set of values. So as we look ahead here, um, you can see my example, 10 small $1 transactions. It's a half a penny difference, not a big difference that's 0.5 percent error but if you had a million transactions this is now possibly five thousand dollar difference does this raise any eyebrows for you in engineering we're concerned because as you make multiple parts if values get rounded up dimensions and sizes you may start having parts not fit how you'd want them to fit um, because of rounding you want to have more even distribution in your rounding so our solution we actually have uh, American Society for Testing Materials has come up with this E29 round off rules. Some people actually call it bankers rounding because bank and finance, they use rules like this. Um, or it's also called round to even because of the rules that are involved in it. So let's see what they are. Our first rule, um, kind of like before, uh, your values one to four round down. But now we're going to skip the, the five for a moment. Um, values six to nine you round up so now uh our one to four you can see round down six to nine round up and we have a 50 50 split with those okay and our totals actually are the same here eight dollars twelve cents eight dollars twelve cents it looks good 50 50 split right what do we do with the five though so rule two evaluating the five by rounding to the even what does that mean if preceding numbers even leave it even if preceding numbers odd, round up to the next even number. So let's see how this works. I've taken this here and expanded upon every scenario where if you had a, a 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9, and a 5 trailing it, how would you round that? Old school method, everyone is rounded up, right? Everyone's rounded up. Uh, in ASTM E29 method now, we treat them differently. A zero is technically an even value. So it's you see it even, you leave it even. 
so the zero stays. Remember, old school, you round it up. In this method, even, leave it even. It's odd here, $1, one cent and a half. It's an odd number. You're going to round that up to an even. The two, two pennies, right? Here we have $1 and two cents and a half. That's a half a penny there, the five. So now we see it even, we're going to leave it even. The three on the next one is odd. We need an even value. We round it up to an even, which is four cents. You continue on down the line, it creates a 50 50 split which is what we're aiming for. We have 50-50 split over here on the original, one to four, six to nine, and now with the five, we break it out to create a 50-50 split. All right, let's try a couple practice examples here, and feel free to pause the video and try these all on your own before I go through them, if you want, just to see if you're on track of what we we're trying to learn here. I'm gonna go through each one here separately. We'll start out at the top left here, four dollars eleven cents and a tenth that's a tenth of a penny here so it, it falls between that one to four so you round down and we have four dollars and eleven cents just like traditional old school method um we're dealing with the same kind of thing here one's one to four values on our next one we have fifteen dollars sixty seven cents and some trailing digits we're gonna look at this eight here well, it falls in the uh, six to nine range, so you're rounding up. So it becomes 68 cents here, 67 becomes 68. Just like old school method, same thing here. Now on this next one, we have a five. And this is where we're coming into this practice with rule two. Uh, evaluate the five by rounding to the even. So we have an even here. The zero is technically an even. We're going to leave it even, as it states here. See a number that's even, leave it even, so we go to 60 cents. If this was old school, this would be rounded up to 61 cents. That's where this is different. We're just trying to get to the even so we can uh, proportionally get that 50-50 split and have equal distribution with all our rounding. So on this next value, we have a 5 again trailing. We're going to go to rule 2. Now we have an odd number, the 7. So when it's odd, you round up to the next even. That becomes 68 okay just like old school method but uh, we're trying to get to even so both of them would have gone up to eight and um, in this case though just remember go to this rule where if it's odd go to even if it's even go leave it even and that's where we're gonna go back here again on our next one two dollars thirty two and a half cents okay we got the five trailing rule two it's even, leave it even, it's 32. Are, are you catching on? Remember, old school, you'd be rounding up. And that's where you get the error. Overall, if you continue to round up every time, that extra time, that just adds up in the end, and that's what brought our error about. So now if we follow these rules, we can evenly distribute the, our, our values better. Um, so let's go down here and look at this we actually are tacking on an extra zero whoever calculated it or however it calculated maybe some extra digits of a zero maybe some more zeros could be tacked on for a long amount we don't need any of that um, but in this case we're looking at rule two again because of the five and there's an even there when it's even leave it even 54 so now I put a note rule three because of that zero and we'll see that come into play when we look into rule three Let's look at this next one here, the last one, 0025, a lot more information. When it calculated out, got all the information on the calculator or on a spreadsheet. Um, and in this case, with rule two, we'd be leaving it even, right? The four stays even. But actually, we're going to round it up to five. And that's because of rule three. So we can look at what's rule three here next. So rule three, what does it say? Um, Essentially, if you have no trailing numbers, you, you you go to rule two, where we have that. If it's even, leave it even. If it's odd, go to even. So in this case, the two is even, 102 and two pennies, right? Here, if there's a zero or many zeros trailing that for some reason on the calculation or however it came out, but if it's all zeros, you go back to rule two. Once again, same way. We just have two cents here because even, leave it even.
But now if you start getting some kind of value, any value at some point after that five, we actually want to round it up. And, and, and this is why. So let's just pretend that we didn't round it up. You're actually splitting it again in an uneven distribution. In this case, we had, I just left it as three places here. So I'm, I'm saying that it's, it could have been a value of 001 all the way up to 599. If this was a 99 and we didn't do this rule three, we'd be rounding it to the two spot here in rule two, but that's uneven distribution because now you can see there's almost 600 values compared to 400 here. So by now making this rule that anything higher, any value that you round it up, that creates more of, you can see, 500 values and 499 values technically here. So closer to 50-50, right? It's just one extra step that may be useful in getting even near to that 50-50 um, distribution across the board. Here's the official rules from a manual describing this stuff. And you can find this stuff online. Here's a link to it. But you can Google search ASTM E29 for a whole guideline. Now, personally, I don't think you totally have to go to this rule three or here rule C. Rule two is good enough. It's better than the old school method. You get better distribution across the board in your rounding method. Well, so I thank you very much for joining me here today. I hope this uh, made some sense. If you have any thoughts or questions, please let me know and have a great day.